My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me. Today we celebrate the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Yesterday was the Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. So it's very fitting to follow up that great feast with the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And for today's prayer, I wanted to focus on the Gospel from today's Mass. The losing and finding of our Lord in the Temple, which is also the fifth joyful mystery of the Holy Rosary. And it's a moment in Jesus' life, in Mary and Joseph's life as well, that you're probably familiar with. Every year they would go to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. And on their way home, Joseph and Mary discover that Jesus is not among their family and friends who are traveling together. And they look for him for three days, which must have been brutal. Where is Jesus? What happened to him? What have we done wrong? Anyway, many, many things were probably going through Joseph's and Mary's hearts and minds. And upon finding him, after three full days, they find him in the temple. Mary asks him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. With great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them, and his mother kept all these things in her heart, in her immaculate heart. She did not fully understand what Jesus meant. She did not fully understand all of those events. And for that reason, she reflected on them. She kept them in her heart. She prayed about them. She prayed about her day. In a special way, those things which worried her, or which she did not understand. She kept these things in her heart. Mary, pray for us. Teach us to also keep things in our heart to bring things to the prayer. What does that mean? Maybe that's a phrase you've heard many times. Maybe you never heard it before. To bring something to the prayer. Very simply, it means to talk to Jesus about it. To talk to God about our day. That face-to-face -face conversation in a very special way with the second person of the Blessed Trinity made man. Let's sit down with Jesus and talk to him face to face, heart to heart, and tell him what's in our heart. And maybe in order to do this, you have to hit the pause button on these meditations in order for there to be a little bit of silence. Silence that facilitates conversation with Jesus. These recordings, these meditations, can be very helpful, and many say that they are, and that's great. But one experience that I have is sometimes when I listen to them, they can get in the way of real dialogue. They need to foster real dialogue, not get in the way of it. So let's use what we hear for real dialogue. And for that, I think most of us, if not all of us, we do need to hit the pause button or to keep praying after the 10 minutes is up or however long the meditation is that we're listening to. To sit with Jesus face to face and tell him what happened today. Who did I talk to? What does that person need? 
How is he or she doing? How did that person make me laugh or smile or cause me to be worried? Or how did that person hurt me, perhaps? Or how I think that person hurt me? Tell Jesus about those things. Talk to him. Ask him for understanding. Ask him for strength. Ask him for help. That is a way to keep things in our heart. Mary reflected on them, and she talked to God about them, and she probably talked to Jesus about them too as well later. Son, what did you mean by this? And maybe he explained it more. We don't know. But that would make a lot of sense, that they would have those kinds of conversations. Right? It would make all the sense in the world. To keep things in our heart. And we want our heart to be focused on Jesus and on the others. And for that, we need prayer. There's a movie, which maybe you have seen. It's entitled Wonder. And it's about a boy with a rare facial deformity. He had a total of 27 operations done on his face. And because of that, his face certainly looks very different. And uh, even though the plastic surgeons did the best they could, and they did very well, it was still an attention grabber, we could say. You couldn't help but look at this boy. And there's a description in the movie done by this boy's sister. And the sister explains that the boy, whose name is Augie, that Augie is the son, S-U-N, is the son around which his mother's life revolves. Now this mother has more than one child, but because he has so many special needs, he has become her entire world. Everything is, is focused on Augie on how he's doing, on how people treat him, on whether he's happy or sad. And we see that with Mary, of course, her immaculate heart. Her immaculate heart is focused on her son, S-O-N, Jesus Christ. But we could also say son, S-U-N, in the sense that everything revolves around him. And so, Mary, we ask you, we want our, our life to be focused on Jesus. And we also want our life to be focused on the others. If our life is going to be focused on you, Jesus, it's going to be focused on the others, because that's, that's the example that you give us. So in the end, this brief 10-minute meditation is really about our conversation with Jesus is about prayer. And I need prayer to be face to face with Jesus, to talk to him, to talk to him about his life and to talk to him about my life. So Jesus, I want to do that. Help me do that. Mary, help me do that. And in that process, our hearts will be purified. They will become more and more immaculate. They won't be attached to other things that they shouldn't be attached to. They'll be more and more attached to God and to Jesus and to His will and to the happiness and holiness of other people. And that will lead to our own happiness. So let's each one of us think. Maybe it's hitting the pause button. Maybe it's after this meditation is over. Maybe it's in our next time of prayer, whenever it is. Have some time to be able to talk to Jesus about our life. To talk to him face to face about our day. And also to make the resolution to talk to him about the people in our life. So Mary, thank you. Thank you for your motherly care. 
Thank you for your intercession. Thank you for your example of prayer. Thank you for showing us how to keep things in our heart. And so help us, Mary, so that Jesus is at the center of our hearts. Jesus, we want you to be the center of our hearts, the focus of our desires, the reason for why we do things, and the one we run to to talk about our day. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations that you've communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.